what's up y'all um i guess this one is more for the ladies and it's important because i just wrote an article on the website i should put the link right here or it should pop up if you're on a computer if you're on your phone it probably won't pop up or i need to remember to put it in there but i just wrote an article about the fact that when you go into a foot locker they have a small women's section right every piece of clothing in the store is for dudes young dudes it's nothing in there for women so when you go in if you're a woman and you want to buy a pair of the new air max 90 recraft which is made exactly the way the shoes were made back in 89 90 you can get the shoe but you can't get any apparel at Foot Locker. so shame on you Foot Locker. Uh, I'm, and this is the funny thing finish line actually has an entire section dedicated to women and it has apparel on the inside so finish line is ahead of the curve when it comes to women and apparel i think that's really important man and i'm talking too much and you're like hey get to the recraft i do want to send a big kudos to nike for cutting down on the size of these damn boxes this is a great box size um, it's not wasteful. I'm not even sure if it's not recycled paper, but if it was recycled paper, that would be even better. But I have to commend Nike for cutting down on the size of the boxes. And this is much sturdier. I mean, so if you had to stack this, then the stacking would be like a breeze. Oh, you know what? And it is exactly the way it was when they first came out. Remember, oh no, you guys are probably, the people that are watching this weren't even born when the shoe came out. This is how they used to come with a shoe insert for the arch, for arch support, where you could put it in to the shoe, which gets me really excited. And I want to take these shoes out and see what else on the recraft. They shouldn't even call it a recraft. They just should say, yo, this is the Air Max 90. And um, go with Nike's sports shoes are manufactured to the exact specifications of champion athletes throughout the world, which is over there on the side of the box. I can't remember if this is the size of the boxes when, you know, when the shoes first dropped, but I don't think so. I think the boxes were orange with the uh, stripes on them on the top, with the Air Max stripes on them, right? So, just make sure you guys see this box. I really like this box, man. I'm, I'm proud of Nike for not being so damn wasteful, man, because they make so many shoes. And those big boxes, there are some Nike shoes. I kid you not. The box is so extraordinarily big that, and yo, and it comes with the hang tag, dude. Butter. All right, Nike, nice job. Everything I said and I was complaining, I'm, I'm done complaining. And I haven't even gotten to, like, the start of the video where I talk about the tag, which is a different tag. Which is um, style code CD 0490103. Uh, women's Air Max 90W Air Max 90. The color is white. Particle gray. Which there's no mention of this grape. It's a great looking shoe, man. And it's the original cut. Oh, you know what? The original cut here. This stitch going along the side. Those are things that were not on, like, the recent retros of, like, the infrared and things like that. I, I think this is true to the original. So I guess the recraft is simply a return back to the original, which means that I should be able to pull this shoe insert out quickly. And it does. It comes out very fast. And it gives me the little dimple where I can stick my arch support on here. Remember, these were running shoes. These were not these were not casual shoes, man. These were running shoes and people bought these to really get active. You know what I mean? Now, not so much and I can't get the dang shoe insert back in. And I'm like way too excited about this shoe. Oh, and that's because there's paper at the toe. So, let's get that out little piece of paper right there and put this back in and let's get to this close-up on this shoe and the production date so there's a few things that I have to get to and then we can start working on wrapping this up but 
It's really a nice shoe, man. Nike, you did, this is a really good job. It's a really good job. Anatomical Arch Supports. And you guys know the name of my company was Arch. Athletes require competition at heart. Enough about me. All right, so let's get to our close-up. But first, production date. 05, 15, 19, 2, 09, 11, 19. Made in Vietnam. Little code is VJ. And let's flip this back around and finish up. Uh, women's size 8 is a men's size 6.5. So if you dudes wanted to get a pair of these, these are 120. So the recraft bumps the price of from 110. So the Air Max 90 is typically 110. So bumps it up to 120. But the infrareds used to be 140. So it's not like a bump up. This is actually pretty true to the price. Now the shoe when they originally came out was not 120 or 140. I think it was like 95. But I can't remember. The um, UPC for the size 8, 193, 154, 395, 761. There's a 16 at the end. Now I gave you guys the production date and that second date, 09, 10, 19, on the inside of the box. There's no QC sticker, but the QC stamp reads JN4091919. So 091919. Just putting this down 091919091119. Perfect. These will be bootlegged. But look at the cut on this. This is going to feel much better. Um, not sure if they change the midsole because for me, the height of this air bubble has always played around and messed with my knees a little bit, pushing my toe forward. But I'm probably going to get a pair of the Recraft ones. They come in men's size. And, oh, I was about to close the box back up before doing a close-up. So let me do a close-up and wrap this video up, man. I talked for so long. Godly. Bananas. So let's do a real quick close-up and finish this off. Not going to stay on it and do a whole big 360 and stuff. I just want to pull this up close so you can get a nice shot and wrap the video up. All right, I'm going to move this out of the way. No, I'm not. I'm going to leave it there because that's fly. <laughs> and then I'm going to move it out of the way. And turn those to the side for you guys. And make sure we're in focus. And we are. And you can see how nice the shoe is. I mean, it is a very good job. And I'm knocking stuff down. I'm way too excited about this shoe. But I mean, rightfully so, man. I can just turn it on the box like that. Give you that medial side. Put that back. Give you the heel. But what I want you to look at is the cut here. How low that is excellent freaking shoe man I don't have to spend that much time on the next model because we did get a good look at this one here but the box is the same color as the shoe so it's color coded and that's going to make it a lot easier to find but let's wrap this up man with that shot right there peace y'all